Daniel Paraffin, everyone. Give it up for Daniel. How you doing? Good. 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 Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. I will tell you about myself. This is true. I am Hispanic, and I don't look Hispanic. I get into weird situations all the time because I don't look Hispanic. I was in Brooklyn, and I got stopped by this cop. Cop grabbed my ID. He's like, Daniel Paraffin, where's that name from? And I was like, oh, I'm Colombian. He's like, oh, you're Latino. You don't look Latino. Good for you, he said that. <laughs> like, what are the odds I find the one racist cop in New York City? <laughs> That's crazy, right? I am Hispanic and I get very upset when people think I'm white. Less of a culture thing, more of a height thing. Because I'm a short, white, Boy, but I'm a tall Latin man. <laughs> Big difference, isn't it? This is a man where I'm from. I am the tallest man in my entire family. Every hug at every wedding gets progressively smaller. Where I'm like, hey, what's going on? Why? Get tell Julio. Hola, let's go on. <laughs> fly off into the ether, which is nice. I'll tell you about myself, uh, I used to weigh 300 pounds, and I lost like 160 pounds in 12 months. And, yeah. I used to be morbidly obese, but now I look like someone that just let himself go. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at this body of a divorced dad, ladies. What is up? <laughs> I'm on, uh, I'm on a bunch of these like diet trends. I've tried everything. I'm on this new thing, right? Ladies, you may have heard of this one. During the day, you only eat salad, but at nighttime, you treat yourself by being rude to everyone. <laughs> no, I recommend it. I haven't lost weights or anything, but I feel great. <laughs> is nifty. I am, uh, I am from this city. I've seen everything. I was born here. I was raised here. I saw this, and this is true. I saw a liberal cat caller. I saw a man, he was shouting at a woman. He was like, let me have sex with you, or whatever they say. And the girl was like, I'm gay. And without missing a beat, he's like, Sexuality's fluid. I was like, whoa. Because <laughs> that means he's learning, right? <laughs> what an educated monster. <laughs> That's a progressive pervert. I've never heard one. I used to do morphine, and if you've never done morphine before, morphine is just like heroin, except it's pronounced morphine. <laughs> I used to do a lot of drugs, and I stopped doing them, and this is something they don't tell you in like NA or anything. You have to tell your drug dealer that you're gonna have to stop doing drugs. And that's a big step. Breaking up with your drug dealer is a lot like breaking up with your girlfriend. Because you have to be stern and serious, but also polite, because you might get back together. <laughs> you don't know how it's gonna go. So I had to text my dealer, I was like, hey! We're done! I am through with your shit! Fuck you, man! But then I was like, oh my god, this guy's been to my house. He can find me and beat me up if he wanted to. So I'm scared the entire day. I get a text back from him, and I swear to god, the text reads, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, but then I was like, damn, now I really have to stay clean. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna disappoint my drug dealer. <laughs> I can't do this, this guy. It's gonna break his heart. I've never had a father. Is this what it's like? That's so crazy. She's not. I don't know. I gotta get out of here soon. Uh, so this is true. Uh, during the day, I like look at like weird facts and stuff. And I saw this online. Uh, apparently, it cost thirty thousand dollars to climb Mount Everest and there's a 25% chance you could die. How about instead you give me that money and every so often I will lunch at you with a knife? <laughs> Doesn't that sound better than going all the way to Clifton, New Jersey or wherever the hell Mount Everest is? <laughs> all right, I'm done, everybody. Take care, have a nice day.